Europa is one of the four Galilean moons of Jupiter. It has caught the attention of scientists, as it showed all the necessary components for life. The moon is made of silicate rock and has an iron-nickel core with a very thin atmosphere. The atmosphere of the Europa moon is mostly composed of oxygen molecules, as well as, with a small percentage of other gases. In the year 2012, NASA's Hubble spacecraft took ultraviolet images to illustrate that some sort of material coming out of Europa, that is apparently blocking the light coming from Jupiter. It turns out that this material is none other than plumes of water. The spacecraft found that the water was coming out from the south pole of Europa and surprisingly near from the same location where the hydrogen and oxygen ions were already flexing out. The water molecules were a clear sign for the scientists of the possibility of oceans underneath the icy crust of the Moon. Since water is a really important component for any living organism, and Europa has a lot of water. But it is not the only moon that has icy oceans, in fact the Ganymede and Callisto moons also contain oceans beneath icy crusts. Then what makes Europa so special for having icy oceans? It's because the reddish-brown scratchy gunks on the outer surface of Europa makes it prominent between other moons. These gunks are most probably the sea salt caused by the jet fountains coming out of the south pole of the moon. Scientists came to know about the material through the intense magnetic field of the planet Jupiter. Discovery of these gunks on the moon shows that the sea water of the moon is directly in contact with rocky bottoms of the ocean which leads us to the next important factor for the existence of life. Energy Life needs energy and Europa is giving hope for that too. But how do we know it? The energy comes from the tidal forces of Jupiter's gravitational field which helps Europa's ocean to prevent water freezing and perhaps there is also a chance that the moon will hold up to hydrothermal vents too. Hydrothermal vents are like hot springs plumbing out of the core of deep oceans. This superheated fountain of water is actually enriched with metals and minerals. These hydrothermal vents are capable of supporting life and if scientists succeed finding deep oceans of the moon in contact with the warm mineral-rich ocean bed then life might have a chance to find its way on Europa. Apart from vents, if life could exist on Europa, it must have its clues on the other parts of the oceans too, and there is also a high chance that we might find molecules and isotopic ratios, as well as preferential handedness or of some particular molecules that can give a sign for the presence of biological processes. Crevices and caves on the seabed performs the role of a good shelter for providing a protective habitat. Moreover, the process of melting and freezing in an ocean can support the production of an energy gradient that is a good source for boosting the metabolism of a living organism. Scientists are hopeful for such discoveries on Europa. Thanks for watching, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to Science Quest for more updates.